So many of you have probably been seeing this Flickr transition that's all the rage in uh, uh, music videos and other sorts of videos out there. I'm going to show you how to do this once and be able to use it as many times as you like. So let's get going. The way we're going to do this is we're going to start hit film out and I'm, uh, I've created a composite shot number one and we're going to put a new layer into that and that layer is going to be a plane and that layer is going to be black and we're going to go ahead and set it in there and then we're going to create another new layer also a plane and that one's going to be white. So we've got a black and white layer on top of one another and then we're going to zoom in on this. like so and we're going to take our plane number one and I'm going to rename that plane and you can right click on it hit rename and I'm going to call it white and then lane number two we're going to hit uh, F2 and I'm going to rename that one black okay so what we're going to do is start cutting out frames so we're going to choose our cutting tool here and we're going to make a cut here, and we're going to make a cut there, and we're going to make a cut there, and we're going to make a cut there, and we're going to make a cut there. So what I'm doing is I'm going to cut out um, 30 frames here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is go up again to the very top and go to the beginning of my timeline. And we're going to start eliminating these uh, frames. So I've got this white frame here, and I'm going to... Um, delete that one and I've got this one here that I'm going to delete and I'm going to take the next one there so what's happening here is now I'm getting white and then I'm getting black and then I'm getting white and then I'm getting black and then I'm getting white and then I'm getting black and then I'm going to leave two frames that are white so I'm going to delete this one and then I'm going to delete that one and then I'm going to Maybe I'll even go three frames and I'll delete that one. Okay, so now what's happened is I've created this series of black to white to black to white to black of slightly varying numbers of frames so that it doesn't look like it's just simply constantly repeating uh, and flipping from one to the other. And I don't have to cut the black at all because that black is um, going to show through wherever I don't have a, a wide frame. So now we're going to create a new composite shot. And we're going to bring in our first composite shot. Point where it stops flickering. Right there. And then we're going to cut that. And we're going to delete the addition here, the additional element of it, because it doesn't add anything. We're not going to be using that at all. Then we're going to take this. And we're just going to keep pasting in additional copies. of our composite shot. And what we're doing is simply lengthening the duration of our flickering video. Okay, and so if you watch, you see that we have flickering all along that whole duration, and now I've got a, a 10 second uh, flickering video with stroboscopic kind of effect, and that's going to be fine for us. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the working track here to end at the end of our flickering elements of video, and then I'm just going to render this composite too. And 
and then we'll import it to use in our transition effect. Okay, so the next thing we do is we're going to create a new project and it's going to be a 1080p full HD project and we need to bring in some elements. First of all, the flicker that we just created and let's go ahead and bring in some video so we can show what we're doing with this. Let's uh, bring in this video here and that piece of video as well. All right, so let's go ahead and make a new composite shot. And we're going to bring in our two pieces of video as well as our flicker effect. And the flicker effect doesn't need to be visible, so we're going to go ahead and, and shut that off. And then we're going to bring in effect, and we'll search for it, the set matte effect. And we'll take that set matte effect and apply it to our beach video. And if we look under set matte effect, it asks for a source layer. It's going to be the flicker, and the matte source will be the luminance key. And so let's go ahead and render this and bring it up and see what it looks like on the screen. And there you have it, the flicker effect. And you can take your flickering key film clip and, and use it in any other project you want. No more cutting. Uh, no more repeated effort to try and, and duplicate that effect time and time again. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks.